M. V. Durandar was an artist who was trained academically at the Jeju School of Art, and he followed what is understood as academic realism of um, as a style of painting. M. V. Durandar did a painting which is untitled. This is a perfect example of how artists working at the turn of the century, who were trained academically, created a new language, a new imagery. Durandar, who was a student of Jeju School of Art, would have seen the large plaster casts of these, you know, the Greek sculptures around him and also the paintings. And it is quite natural that when he paints, you see the similar style come through. If you were to remove the identifying marks, which is the lotus or the Sudarshan chakra or the crown on her head, and just look at it as a woman who's standing at the edge of a pond, she could be anybody. If you look at her legs, they're almost going on forever. The slenderness of the figure, the slim waist, these are all typical markers of a figure that is conceived along the Greek ideal type and not the Indian ideal type of figure. But yet, Durandar kind of blends these two different you know, thoughts, the Western idealism with the Indian concept of what a goddess should look like beautifully. He treats her in a white sari, which is again quite unusual because usually our gods and goddesses, even if today if you take an offering, it would most typically be a red or green or a brighter color. And he uses this to set her off against a background that is dark. Again, that is something quite unusual because you rarely see in a painting, even if it's a miniature, a background that's like a dark wood or a deep wood, which is reminiscent of a European forest rather than an Indian forest. And here again, these are these contradictory elements that make the painting very mysterious. And I'm kind of wondering where is she standing? Where did she come from? What is the background? What is the story? Because you like to have a lot of story in a painting. But in this painting, Dhurandar kind of negates all the storytelling and just focuses on the goddess, on the figure of the woman, draws our attention to her because of the use of white of a sari and the darkness of the background and creates a, a feeling of aura and a mystery around her. And I think that's the success or that's the highlight of this particular painting. The amalgamation of the Western ideal body type overlaid with the Indian identification in terms of the costume, the jewelry and her symbolism placed in a setting which could be anywhere in the world and yet conveys the message that here is a goddess who's waiting to give you a blessing.